God leave to make a review of the information shortly. Uh, well, sir, I think uh, in order for us to stay healthy, we must keep activity. I think overweight is not good for health. Mm -hmm. And second, it results in hypertension, which impacts coronary heart disease. HIV AIDS. Between 11 and 15 percent of U.S. AIDS cases occur in seniors over age 15. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much for your coming. Our topic to discuss in this English class today is health problems and health education. I hope you pay more attention to the information on the screen by listening to it. Then make a review of what you understand it afterwards. Okay, let's listen to it. Today's health problems and health education. The health problems of greatest significance today are the chronic diseases. The extent of chronic diseases, various disabling conditions, and the economic burden that they impose have been thoroughly documented. Health education and health educators will be expected to contribute to the reduction of the negative impact of such major health problems as heart disease cancer, dental disease, mental illness and other neurological disturbances, obesity, accidents, and the adjustments necessary to a productive old age. The new and unique role of health education in helping to meet these problems can perhaps be clarified through a review of some of the differences between procedures that have been successful in Solving the problems of the acute communicable diseases and those that are available for coping with today's problems. Physical activity and nutrition. Research indicates that staying physically active can help prevent or delay certain diseases, including some cancers, heart disease, and diabetes, and also relieve depression and improve mood. Inactivity often accompanies advancing age, but it doesn't have to. Check with your local churches or synagogues, senior centers, and shopping malls for exercise and walking programs. Like exercise, your eating habits are often not good if you live and eat alone. It's important for successful aging to eat foods rich in nutrients and avoid the empty calories in candy and sweets. Overweight and Obesity Being overweight or obese increases your chances of dying from hypertension, type 2 diabetes, coronary heart disease, stroke, gallbladder disease, osteoarthritis, sleep apnea, respiratory problems, dyslipidemia and endometrial, breast, prostate, and colon cancers. In-depth guides and practical advice about obesity are available from the National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute of the National Institutes of Health. Between 11 and 15 percent of U.S. AIDS cases occur in seniors over age 50. Between 1991 and 1996, AIDS in adults over 50 rose more than twice as fast as in younger adults. Seniors are unlikely to use condoms, have immune systems that naturally weaken with age, and HIV symptoms fatigue, weight loss, dementia, skin rashes. Swollen lymph nodes are similar to symptoms that can accompany old age. Again, stereotypes about aging in terms of sexual activity and drug use keep this problem largely unrecognized. 
That's why seniors are not well represented in research, clinical drug trials, prevention programs, and efforts at intervention. The health educator's job. The differences between the methods for prevention of acute and of chronic diseases greatly increase the scope and difficulty of the health educator's job. Each person must be reached with the educational message in a way that will ensure his response, or else the efforts of health workers accomplish nothing. It is not enough to produce positive results with a few persons or even with the majority. Even approximating the achievement of such an all-inclusive goal will challenge every resource and all the imagination health educators can muster. The problems of greatest community health significance today affect adults and older persons much more than did the contagious diseases. To be sure, many children suffer from rheumatic fever, diabetes, and some of the other chronic conditions, but the majority of the persons affected by chronic diseases are adults. As a rule, it is much easier to convince parents to take action for the health of their children than it is to convince them to do anything about their own health. Furthermore, the fact that health education for today's problems must be an attempt to effect change in the behavior of older adults adds to the complexity of the task ahead. Summary Today, we are faced with a host of health problems that require individual action. Bringing about that action requires education. The task is made unusually difficult because of the insidious nature of the chronic diseases, the lack of any action individuals may take, the age group that must be influenced. The large number of agencies that are involved, and the need for modification of some of our cultural patterns and value systems. This is the challenge to the profession of health education. God live. After you have listened to the native speaker reading on the screen, and now you read again on number one problem. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, now you go. Physical activity and <clears throat> research indicate that staying physically active can help prevent or delay certain diseases, including some cancer heart disease and diabetes, and also relieve depression and improve mood. Inactivity often accompanies advancing age, but it doesn't have to. Check with your local churches and synagogue, senior centers and shopping mall for exercise and walking programs. Like exercise, your eating habits are often not good if you like and eat a lot. It's important for successful aging to eat food rich in nutrition and avoid empty calories and candy and sweets. Well, uh, now can you re can you make a review of the information shortly in order that your friends understand well about what you think about? Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, again, okay, now you go. Uh, well, sir, I think uh, in order for us to stay healthy, we must keep activity, we must uh, exercise and uh, don't sleep and just eat. We must keep activity and we must eat a healthy food. Uh, have food with protein and uh, with not a lot of carbohydrate, don't just eat candy and sweet. Okay, so you say carbohydrate. Carbohydrate. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. And, uh, well, the next one is... Uh, well, for the next one is Mega. Uh, now, what do you think about... What, what number is it? Which one do you want? Number two, what is it about? Overweight and obesity. Overweight and obesity. Well, now, first of all, I would like to know uh, whether you have good pronunciation or not by reading. Okay, now you go. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Overweight and obesity. Being overweight or obese increases your chance of dying from hypertension, 
type 2 diabetes, coronary heart disease, stroke, gallbladder disease, osteoarthritis, sleep apnea, respiratory problems, dyslipidemia, and endometrial, breast, prostate, and colon cancers. In deep guides and, pra and practical advice about obesity are available from the National Heart Lung Blood Institute of the National Institutes of Health. Well, after, yes, I think that's good uh, pronunciation. Well, uh, can you make a review of this problem? Okay. I think overweight is not good for health. Mm -hmm. And second, it results in hypertension which impacts coronary heart disease. Mm -hmm. And if we, win, if, we, if we want to get guidance on our problems, we can if go... If we want to get guidance... Problems we... Can go to if national if we have good, if we want to get a guidance, guidance, guidance. Mm. If we want to get guidance, uh -huh. if we want to get guidance, our problems, we can go to National Heart Lung and Blood Institute of the National Institutes of Health. Okay, so if you have health problems, you can go to this to get the guidance. But remember that all is in English, so uh, you must understand English well. This is uh, the benefits if you understand English very well. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, now I go to the next one. Uh, what problem do you want to read? I also want to get your pronunciation well or not. I want to know whether you have good pronunciation or not by reading. Are you ready now to read it? Uh, HIVH between 11 and 15 percent of U.S. H changes occur in seniors over age 50 between 1991 and 1996. H in adults over 50 rose more than twice as fast as in younger adults. Seniors are unlikely to use condoms, have immunity system that naturally weaken with ache. And HIV systems, vertigo, weight loss, dementia, skin results, swollen lymph nodes are similar to symptoms that can accompany all ache. Again, street, street tropes about again in terms of sexual activity and drug you skip this problem legally uh, similar to system that can accompany of the game against the street of peace about again in terms of asexual of sexual activity and drug use keep this problem legally unrecognized that's why seniors are not well represent, represented in research clinical drug trials prevention Program, programs and efforts are in the future. That's all. Shudan. Well, students, after you read and after you get the understanding of the information about the health problems, so when you are working in the future after you graduate your education here, so you must know well about uh, these cases. So when you meet a foreigner or foreigners, you can uh, give information about and how to avoid and how to get solution of this problem. Okay, thank you very much for your attention and see you on the next time in different topic.